No, it was the Atari 5800, wasn't it? Man, I can't remember. What was the shitty Atari? 2600 was the good one. 5200, that's right. The 5200. All of them? Nuh-uh, man. 2600 was awesome. 5200 sucked ass. I'm only saying it sucked ass because the angry video game nerd told me it sucked ass, so... If I can't listen to him, then who, can, who am I gonna listen to, you know? We got past 3-2, but let's not be proud of it. I'm probably gonna lose... Oh, I don't know. Six seconds in this world? Because I got a shit ton of movements of 3 and 2. I'm actually behind by almost 10 seconds because of Hammer Brothers. I haven't made a mistake in this world. So that's fun. And that's why we're talking about other... Th what the fuck just happened? Well, there's my mistake. And then that happened. Well, we cursed it. I play... I only played the Atari 6900s. That's it. I also play on the Nintendo 69. My favorite console. You had it in television? Whee! I feel safe that I can- that I can brainlessly go through World 1 now without doing Whistle and Fortress and stuff, so that's good. It just means I don't have to try so hard uh, for World 1. You play Virtual Girl 69? DM me later. I never played Virtual Boy. Never played it. Ever. There's only a couple games, right? I know, auto score, it's not my fault. You liked it, but it was a hassle? That sucks. When Virtual Boy came out. I need the Panasonic CDI. I'm, I'm using all original hardware right now. Plumbers don't wear ties. CDI had the, the most uncomfortable game cases. They were like bigger than VHS boxes. They were like skinnier but taller. What a dumb... Get in that tunnel, yo! I know, I still- I want to try Hotel Mario and CDI Zeldas. Just to see what they're like. Like, I just want to try them just to see what it's like. Everything I just said sounds exactly like when you have a friend guys have been friends for so long and then you guys are like let's have sex just to see what it's like and then it ruins the friendship like i feel like i shouldn't play the cdi zeldas i 
I've seen, I've seen a lot of them. What a comparison yet seems accurate. <laughs> that was a weird analogy. Yeah, but I mean, I, right? I want to try these CDI games, but I'm worried. Like, everything in my mind right now about Zelda is awesome. Awesome. I don't even have a problem with Zelda 2. Like, that game's pretty cool. Being as Zelda 1 was the only Zelda at the time, Zelda 2, it, it wasn't like, they couldn't be like, well, that's not a Zelda game. So it's perfect. Now Zelda has turned into a, an algorithm that has to be met for people to call it and enjoy it as a Zelda. They can't transform it all that much anymore. Unless they make a Battle Royale Zelda, which they obviously should. I never... Skyward Sword is the only Zelda that I didn't play. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. I have it, though. I'm waiting to play it on a vacation. A real vacation, okay? That's why I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, because it's big and, like, lots of time. I'm saving Breath of the Wild for, like, the beaches in, like, the Bahamas or some shit. You know what I mean? One of those vacations. You hated Zelda 2 because it wasn't fun to play. I can see that. The game's gotta be fun, man. Probably would have hated Zelda 2 as a kid. But when I was a kid, we didn't have a Zelda game. When I was a kid, I knew Mario, Mega Man's, and Contra. And then, you know, random NES games. Battletoads I knew, Anticipation I knew. We never had a Zelda game, so I didn't know those games when I was a kid. I didn't even know they existed. I didn't have friends who had Nintendos, nor did I play with friends who had Nintendos. I was the one with the Nintendo. But I always had to fight my brother and sister for it, because I was the youngest. But I was better than them at it, so I, at the end of the day, I normally got it. Like, you guys remember in Mario 1, right? When you play two-player Mario 1, the second player doesn't get to go until Mar the first player dies. So We had the Simpsons game when I was a kid. I remember that. What else did we have? Um, can't remember. As a kid, we had Super C, yep. I love that game. Have you guys ever watched that video on YouTube of the movie Predator, but all the sound and music is replaced with Contra stuff? It's fucking hilarious.
Man of Steel tried to apologize and he was insta banned. What did he try to say? He was banned by Kerbo. I didn't even know Kerbo was here. I don't think I've seen Kerbo say anything yet today. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't have sympathy for the apology. I can't have sympathy for the apology. He's gonna. He's gonna have to do better than that if he wants his voice to be heard. I watch my friend play Symphony Symphony of the Night a lot. Like a lot. I watch that game be played a lot. Fun game. What's the story of Man of Steel? No story, just a very dedicated Twitch viewer. Starting shit. Now, I don't want to say that this was an awesome world, too, but at least decent. Dude, what was that? You guys remember like four summers ago that one spam account? It was some girl. What was the name, guys? What was the name? Do you guys remember who her name? It wasn't an actual person. It was a bot. Elna. That's right. Elna was one of them. Yeah, Elna. I feel like there was another one, though. What is in these crates, man? What are in these boxes? Casey Tron? What? That's an actual viewer or streamer. Does Casey Tron still stream? set up better. I still lost time though. <laughs> Bowser's weed is in those crates. But they but Bowser's weed is being shipped to the grasslands. Maybe the toads in the toad houses are getting their shipment of that dank chronic, you know? Maybe that's why Mario's going after Bowser. He's taking down the chronic the chronic uh, transportation vessels. Mario's in an anti-green world right now. It's, you have to remember, it's 1988. Well, since I'm playing on the American release, it's 1990 right now. Sound. Boom. Mario is trying to take down the weed the weed boats. Come on, Mario. It's the big deal.
I know Toad Puffs. Toad's probably got a big deal. I bet this entire game is about Toad and Bowser having a huge deal going down in the grasslands. And every ship that Mario takes over and beats with the Koopa Kids is just another one of Bowser's dealers trying to make it to the grasslands for this big shipment. Kind of like Breaking Bad, sure. But Mario's messing around so much that Bowser gets pissed off and steals his wife. And now Bowser has his wife hostage because Mario just cost Bowser like millions of dollars. Dude, man, I'd love to create a Mario ROM hack where the twist at the end was Toad was actually evil. Don't, dude. God damn it, dude. Anything to strip me of any possible time just fucking hates me, man. God damn it, dude. Yeah, what's Toad doing at every castle? If Peach is captured, what the hell is he doing, right? Exactly. Exactly. See? M Mario in this green right now. See? Go green. Mario's the green police. Come on, Mario. Be a bro. See, the green donuts aren't moldy donuts. They're actually weed donuts now. Apparently I killed something just now. We can 69 for a little bit, guys. You can 69 with me for a little bit. But not for long. So I'm gonna have to get coins at the end of this level. So we can't 69 for too long, guys. The level 3-7 is what's below these skies right now. Like, if I'm so high in the air, what's below me? I feel like I beat this level and I drop down to 3-7 here. Right? I drop down right here. Whose idea was it to make me start on four blocks right there? Like, it's so random. It's such a random start. It leads me to believe that... Different people had projects for different levels. So, like, there was a team that worked on World 1. Then there was a team that worked on World 2, right? It seems way more likely than anything. Right? It makes sense. That's one finger. As you can see, I'm holding right on the D-pad, so I can only mash with one finger. She didn't bring your mustache. Yo, Mr. Turkey85, welcome back for six months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back, back.
Nobody's hu human sent to padding anyway. Not my stream. Not my stream. Keeper of morality. That's right. I don't care what you guys do. There'd just be no sewing of the mouth to butt in my in my channel. Okay. Yeah, just do what you want. But you can't do that. these splits guys like honestly <sighs> <laughs> yo roto disc thank you for the 500 bits yes if there isn't sewing it's still not allowed all right The biddies. Hey, Kaylee, do you want to get some, like... I'm just gonna think... I'm just gonna think Wendy's. And I don't know. is awesome it's just I, my food's never fresh so i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what i want because if it's gonna be takeout i'd rather it be picked up and i know that sounds bad i don't want you to stop what you're doing at all so i don't know what i want so i don't want uber eats fucking you never know what those people do to the food i feel like the restaurants know it's an uber eats meal too and they just they they have no care in the world about it you know and I'm a gold star member for Uber, okay? Yo, my McDonald's gets stickers on it too. But McDonald's is the only one that really... No one's touching that food, you know? They're really good with that. You guys don't like the way I eat. I'm not talking... I, I, I never get nuggets from fast food plates, by the way. So if I do nuggets, chicken nuggets with lemon juice, I get it from, like, frozen bot or something. There's this place in Canada called M&M's. m, &M's. m, &M Meat Market. That's where I would get my frozen chicken from, or ch you know, chicken nuggets or whatever. Yep, buy the mushroom house. Fuck off, man. It's just taking everything from me. God fucking damn it, dude. bankrupt a lot of stores are closing interesting i haven't been there for a long time so i wouldn't know
Sonic's has the worst food fucking ever. It's so generic and so shitty. I've had Sonic's once. What? Like, come on! This is absurd, the way this game is working tonight, man. The way this game is working tonight is just absolutely fucking stupid, man. Oh, got the stairs, though, because guess what? This run's already a piece of crap. But we're in there, guys. We're in there. Like, I'm getting flower, flower animations in places where you never get three flowers in a row. Like, what? I got I got a flower card in four three, four four, and four six. Like what? How, man? Like it's so fucking stupid. And nobody turn nobody turn backs. I can save the run with J clip. This guy knows, man. Jesus will save this run. Well, there's nothing wrong with the run. Like my time's not that bad. I don't know if I'm gonna save time. It's just, I'm looking too far into these little things. That World 4 would have been pretty decent had, uh... I got 4 or 5 P-Speed two times in a row, so I'm happy. I don't worry about, worry about those little things. I'm more worried about why I got a flower in 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four, and 4-6. Four, I mean, 4-6? Four, 4-6? Six? Four, six? I'm already at full speed whenever the card spawns, so it makes no sense. And 4-3? What? How? 4-4 four, four makes sense, because I didn't have P-Speed. Justified. Definitely justified. But I mean, 4 6 makes no sense. Flowers are very finicky, that's right. This guy knows. Why would I turn back if I already have a flower in my inventory? Ah, oh, god dang it! No! That would have been my third off-screen wand grab today. That would have been my third one today. Damn it. I have to be just a little bit more patient with that off-screen wand grab. Just a wee little bit. And those wall jumps, that's right. Gotta get prepared for them. I have to go back to World 5, though. I need to practice World 5's off-screen one grab. My aim is so bad for the wall. All the time. What was that with my eyes? I don't know. I'm dicking around. What, don't move in a four? Come on, man, be a bastard.
Well, movement of three. So I know where he is. We've gotten a movement of two, a movement of three, and a movement of one. In that order. What's next? Yo, Gud with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Wee. Another movement of one. Oh, nice bump. That wasn't just a bump. I even delayed on my movement. So this world 5 RNG so far is insane. Stop bumping? I mean, why are you even bumping? Like, what the fuck, man? Why is it happening so often? Like, fucking stop. Yeah, that's right. I'll swear about it and kill him. Take that! <laughs> I mean, I'm still a virgin. What are you talking about? I'm proud. He does a movement of three. I don't even know anymore. Just don't do a movement of three. Okay, we're in a tight spot here. Odds change, even stone. Odds change, even stone. Odd. Nice try, coin ship. Nice try. Oh, and he came back to daddy. This world 5 RNG was pretty bonkers. Let's watch me lose time because I'm bumping all over the place. <sighs> I only did two bumps. Not too bad, I guess. So still makes me mad. Remember this moment, guys. Remember this moment because this is be the last time you ever either A see movements of one in this world or B see me defeat the last hammer brother before level six. So take a picture, clip it record just remember this moment because it'll never happen again I didn't say world record run incoming Luckily, I build a foot pass again. Thirty-four forty-one is still trash. Oh, 
So this World 5 is actually not going to be that good. Don't forget the Titans. Five thirty six is still a trash A press on the next level, so it's just getting worse. Yep. If I didn't bump, if it would have just gave me that last upper decker, like just so many stupid. So my time losses in this world are as follows: bump, bump, miss vertical pipe, and clipped for upper decker. Thanks, game. level growing up how come this level was dope this level was the shiz they can't be all good days you see that's the that's the funny thing about that pixel is that mario 3 runners don't ask for all the days to be good they ask for one good day one good day is all we ask. On one day, at, at some point in 2020, can the Hammer Brother please move left? Can I not get a marathon in any of the worlds? I don't think that's too much to ask. Can I possibly maybe not be forced to fight the star? Maybe you couldn't run away in World 3. That would be nice. Maybe just one day the Hammer Brother just doesn't run away. I mean, it's very possible. That's all we ask. I don't care about getting hands. Give me three hands. I don't care. Just one day. Maybe not get a marathon with the Hammer Brothers. That would be nice. I literally saved my music boxes for World 6 now because I'm scared. <laughs> one good day every single day i think some of you are confusing good day with good run i don't even care if i get bad runs i would be more content if i messed up the runs more often <laughs> no this isn't too bad at all this is pretty good yo piru what's up man maybe one day maybe one day later that day i should be b down left left should be this, pretty sure. Yep. Now I'm gonna get P-Speed in 6-4. You can't get both of these though. There's something in the universe that prevents it. I'm just sitting here throttling these assholes. Yep. Go to sleep and never wake up. If you ever come back, we'll kill you.
Backing asses up, man. That's our job. Just backing asses. <laughs> SMP3 mix is a ROM hack. A Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hack. That's amazing. What's the matter, HBs? Come on down, son of a bitch. Yo, your hitbox yesterday, Haxer. Awesome. That's my favorite hitbox. Oh, great. This is where they get stuck. Told you I'd get peace. Hammer brother, please just move down. I mean, come on now. Yes. No. Asshole. And I still got a 275. I don't know. Too many Hammer Brother movements, unfortunately. If only I could have got peace speed in 6-3. Uh, this would be a really, really good world uh, 6 right now. Except for the couple second time loss from the Hammer Brothers, sadly. Just, uh, I was very close to being able to kill the Hammer Brothers before doing 6-5 and 6-6. Which, in this instance, saved me... Would have saved me 3 seconds almost. Oh, they were all movements 1.5 seconds. Right, because they moved. Right, they moved after five, and they moved after six. Then they moved after I beat one, and then that was it. So three additional movements of one. One of them was of two, but that was after six four. So that. I mean. So there's potential of an extra. But that's just nonsense. I'd rather do a turn back for the card on land, so I'm waiting until 6-8 to do the turn back. So I don't have to slide on ice like a schlub.
three stars incoming? I hope not, man. I really hope not. When I did six five, I saw my P wing should be just one input to the to the right or left. Sorry. Yeah, I'll take it easy, Pixel. This World 6 was really good. This was actually really good. I think the only mistake I made was not getting... Oh, thank you. My only... What? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Least of my worries right now. Don't worry about it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Thank you. Sim... You got in, buddy. Yes. Uh, no, Kaylee brought me some food, but the cats snuck in. So she was like, eh, just leave the cats. I don't, I don't have time to be dicking around right now on this run. So they'll eventually leave. Sim, Sim made a covert ops dip. Uh, this World 6 is not going to show as much as you'd expect, sadly. I think that was a combination of menuing for two music boxes where I normally don't and fighting the Hammer Brothers after 6-5 and 6-6. Wow. I'm so glad it works. What a nice setup. I'm glad we set up for the frame room. Notice how I got stuck in the wall? Got the bad frame, apparently. Wow, what a nice subpixel. I legit did it properly. I got stuck in the ceiling and it didn't clip me. So glad I set up for that apparently consistent subpixel value. 